For this demonstration by Nerea, we're going to show you the core lead to contract and contract to service functionalities of Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 using the web browser interface. This software is also available fully integrated to Microsoft Outlook and also through mobile solutions available through iPhone, iPad, Android and Windows Mobile. So this is Microsoft Dynamics CRM, the main interface, and normally the welcome screen you would see is a dashboard, which is fully customizable uh, depending on your position in the company, on your department, or even on your personal preferences. What we see here is for a sales representative, with on the left a sales pipeline, looking at open opportunities. We're looking at uh, sales goals in the middle. Uh, leads, where they came from, advertisements, referrals, campaigns and so on, opportunities and customers. So today we're going to focus on a scenario whereby we're going to convert an opportunity into a quote sent to the customer with some negotiation going on and then into an order. So I'm going to use the uh, sales pipeline dashboard and I'm going to first of all um, maximize this a little bit and uh, see what the records are that were used to build this uh, dashboard. So we're looking here at the whole list of opportunities. Opportunities being potential sales to an existing customer or potential customer with normally an estimated amount that would be the revenue made from this opportunity. So I'm going to look at uh, more precisely the, uh, the ones in the final stage of the pipeline, the one that's already in negotiation, meaning that um, a proposal has been submitted and uh, I'm going to look at one uh, particular one that uh, has been made to active marketing. Now this is a fairly simple opportunity. Uh, we're just considering two products, uh, product A and product B, and uh, calculating a revenue amount. So for this opportunity, well, I'd like to close it to uh, achieve my sales goals. So I'm going to look at uh, forthcoming activities. Activities mean things that haven't yet occurred in terms of interaction with the customer. I also have a list of closed activities, which in this case include uh, a research task, a phone call, and uh, a proposal that was sent. So right now I have an appointment coming up, so I'm going to open this appointment. Of course, this can be linked to any calendar, whether in Outlook or in um, any mobile solution. So um, I'm meeting with the customer and I see that the opportunity is for 20 units of product B, uh, product, uh, B and uh, I find out through the interview that uh, they also require uh, 50 units of uh, product A. So I can take some uh, very simple notes here and uh, I'm going to mark this appointment as completed in uh, CRM or of course in uh, Outlook or whichever um, solution I use for my calendar. So it's now in my uh, closed activities here and uh, I can now update the opportunity with the second product that they would like. I have product B in my line items. I'm going to add another line item, another opportunity product, which is going to be product A. So once again a very simplified um, version here. I only have uh, two products, A and B, and also a possible uh, combination, a bundle kit of product A and product B. So I'm just going to use uh, product A as uh, a product here. I have to specify the units. Well, they're sold um, by the units, so each will be the uh, unit here. And I am going to use the uh, normal uh, default price list. I could also override that price and I'm going to just write down the quantity here. So the quantity is 50. I can just go save and close and that has updated my opportunity. Now I can recalculate the amount which was worth uh, $250,000 until now. I'm just going to update that using my uh, new product. Recalculate opportunity and now my potential sale here is worth $750,000. So since a detailed proposal has been submitted already as part of my closed activities, the next step is going to be a quote. 
So I'm going to uh, try quoting the customer on uh, this amount I've just put in. So in my quote view, still within the opportunity entity, I'm just going to add a new quote. Now all my information I have in the opportunity, the, the customer, the, the products I've added and everything else, including the amount of the quote, is already in there. I don't need to add anything. I'm then going to print the quote for the customer. So I'm going to generate a dynamic document directly from Microsoft Dynamics uh, CRM and I'm going to use a template that I've already prepared. It, again, a very simple template. Of course, everything can be included, including uh, different modules, general conditions, and so on. So I'm going to generate a Word document in uh, the form of a mail merge. Microsoft Dynamics CRM is fully integrated with the um, Office family of products, including, um, of course, Outlook, as I already mentioned, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So I'm just going to enable editing here. as well as contents. And I'm going to establish a link between my Word document here and the CRM database. I'm just going to go to add in and click on uh, CRM. And this is going to now include some dynamic field into my quote. Again, of course, a very simple document. So I'm just going to preview what this is about. This is the first page, uh, my uh, product B. On the, the second page, I will have product uh, A, which I just added, the total amount of the quote, $750,000. So the quote document I've just shown can be, of course, um, exported as a PDF file, attached to an email, or saved in a SharePoint site. I'm going to activate the quote, meaning that I'm sending it now to the customer. The quote will become read-only. The board is now in my customer's scan he will be the one to decide whether to accept it. He can either accept it straight away or ask me for a revision. Then I can add a new version of the quote. So the revision ID until now was uh, zero. I'm now going to create a new quote with revision ID number one. All of these, of course, are tracked in CRM. All the history of uh, quotes and proposals is available as uh, entities. Let's just say that my customer would like a discount of 10% uh, which I agree to so uh, I'm going to uh, save this as uh, a new quote and I'm going to recalculate the amount it will no longer be uh, $750,000 it will now be 675000 I can of course now go through the same process as previously print quote from the customer I'm just going to activate this quote and this time the customer is going to accept it. So the next step is of course going to be to create an order from this quote. So I'm just going to click on create order. The quote is going to go to um, status one and I'm also going to close the associated opportunity. I can either add a revenue manually or I can calculate my revenue from quotes. So in this case, the opportunity will be a one one going into my sales goals and worth $675,000. So the next window I'm going to open now is the order. Again, with exactly the same information as I had in my opportunity and in my quote, meaning the amount, product, and information such as, of course, a customer, the price list associated, and uh, things like a billing address, and also the, uh, the documents I can print from my order for sending or my document management purposes. So going back now to my main CRM screen, of course my charts have been updated, the uh, KPI chart as well as the um, goal chart. I'm going to uh, change heads. I've so far showed you the uh, sales process. We're now going to go to the uh, customer service. So now the uh, contract and the service aspect of CRM. So I'm going to change dashboards. And imagine that I'm now a customer service representative looking after contracts, contract lines, and uh, service activities. So this is my dashboard, including uh, such uh, items as uh, cases by priority, customer satisfaction, uh, knowledge base articles, service leaderboard, and uh, cases by category. So we're now going to go to the uh, service tabs in, uh, in CRM, and we're going to look at the uh, contracts we have. 
Now, as I created the order, this particular system has a workflow in place which automatically creates a service contract. So my customer here was uh, active uh, marketing and uh, the current contract would be the one that's um, starting on the 29th of um, March 2011. Uh, in my contract, I have such information, of course, my customer, the uh, date of validity, duration of the contract, uh, billing frequency, currency, and the total price, in this case, 3,200. This has been created uh, via a workflow, and I now have in my contract two contract lines, which correspond to the uh, line items in my opportunity or the products in my order. I have a technical service for uh, my two products, which were AX305 product A and JJ201 product B, which it's each time a price associated. Again, this is a simplified um, version of a contract, which is just, just includes the technical service for my product uh, JJ201. There were 20 of them ordered in, uh, in my order. I have a total number of minutes of 360 uh, minutes with uh, a price associated. Of course, these contracts can be made much more complex with uh, demonstration versions, uh, free trials, uh, warranties, um, termination, and uh, so on. So what I'm going to do is um, go back to my uh, contract and um, I'm going to start adding some uh, activities. So activities would be, in this case, service activities. So let's just say that uh, this customer needs uh, some form of uh, service to take place, whether it's uh, through a help desk, it could be online, it could be uh, on-premise uh, service. So I'm just going to create an activity that I'm going to call technical servicing for, um, let's just say, the uh, product we call AX. 305. So I'm going to select the category for this service. I'm going to select AX305 maintenance. The site uh, we will operate from our headquarters. Uh, the resource I'm going to ask uh, some of my people to um, attend to this customer. Now resources can be uh, users, they can be uh, people in your company or they can be facilities or equipment. I'm going to select uh, Luke Ives to attend to this particular customer. I can add a location, an address, I can show the time as being reserved, tentative, requested, uh, and so on. And I can add uh, a time and uh, date at which it's going to take place, as well as the, um, the duration. Duration is very important, of course, uh, all of this can be billable or non-billable. So I'm now going to save this uh, service opportunity. There's uh, quite powerful scheduling engine as well. So I can schedule uh, my resources, uh, whether they're technical or uh, human resources to this particular customer. I can add them to a queue, which would be uh, then linked to a department. I can uh, assign it directly to uh, one particular customer. I can close the service activity or mark it as complete in the case um, when the uh, service has been done and the customer, of course, is satisfied. These uh, service activities can be put together in two cases, which then would be um, requiring a number of people and a number of different uh, activities to resolve a particular customer problem. Microsoft Dynamics CRM is actually a very powerful system to manage the whole cycle of uh, sales, marketing and service within a company, and also to manage all the activities associated with them. For example, uh, you could manage the um, all the technical aspect of uh, going live, of uh, subscription management, and all the follow-up activities that would be required by that. And everything would always be available in one place, meaning that all the information that you have entered is accessible not only through dashboards, 